What's happening, fellas? My name is Matt, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at four NFTs I think you guys might like. Now, as always, folks, this is not financial advice, just my personal opinion, and of course, all money you invest in NFTs can be lost. But before we get into it, I'm going to need you guys to drop a like for the clear complexion, folks, because it's been a long road. All right, so the first project we're going to be taking a look at today is something called Astrals, which is actually one of the major projects out there on the Solana blockchain right now. And to be honest with you, this project kind of blindsided me. And the main reason why this has been so successful is because of the support from Shaquille O'Neal, the former basketball player. Now, oftentimes, influencer projects are disasters, and I would say the majority of the time, you should try to stay away from them. However, Shaquille O'Neal looks to be actually attentive and doing good things with this project, and I love to see it. So this is 10,000 unique 3D avatars with 200 traits, 16 races, uh, and of course, masterfully crafted lore. They are a community-driven project with aspirations of galactic proportions, featuring the incredible character design art of Damien Juima. Each astral is your gateway to the Galaxy DAO, and of course, earning the Galaxy token, which looks to be performing very well. So uh, definitely, these guys are developing on uh, the fact that staking has gotten very, very popular recently uh, in the Solana industry. And if you don't know what staking is, it really boils down to a very simple process. What you are essentially doing is you are temporarily locking your NFT away with the platform. You are temporarily giving your Astral or your D-God or whatever it is you're staking to the creators of it for a period of time. And in that period of time, they are rewarding you with some form of passive income, typically in the form of their own token. So the thing I like about Astral Astrals is the fact that they've managed to do basically everything that comes with a very hyped uh, sort of influencer project while maintaining it. And if you take a look at the floor, it's pretty steady for this project. It's pretty consistent. And the activity is definitely not bad. Even with the staking involved, of course, there are still a lot of people who are consistently buying and selling this. And I definitely do think that one day Astrals will manage to get uh, to a higher point than it is now. You'll also notice that their following on Twitter and Discord is is rabid. I mean, people are literally obsessed with this project, given the fact that you take a look at their Discord chat. I mean, it is just absolutely ruthless. Uh, again, I remember a lot of the nights when Astral was originally pumping, the activity was nuts. I mean, literally every minute people buying these up. I do think there is the community behind Astral's that most influencer projects don't have. But before we go any further, guys, let's talk a little bit about my Patreon. I have worked tirelessly to make this the best NFT group out there. By joining my Patreon, you guys get literally an insane amount of content. You'll get a custom Discord role, direct access to me in a DM, full access to Matt's NFT Dojo, crypto and altcoin trade signals, access to my exclusive NFT watch list, whitelist opportunities, priority access to my live streams, and so much more. To be honest with you guys, I think it's a steal for only $10 a month. And of course, if you guys would like to talk to me over voice, in a voice call, you guys could always join the Emerald and Above tier, which has that offered. Currently, there are hundreds of people joining the Patreon every month, and they absolutely love it. Link down below in the description. Now, the next project we're going to be taking a look at is is Bohemia, which is a project that I actually got into at around five Solana. And of course, if you guys were on my Patreon at the time, you would have been alerted when I purchased that. So Bohemia right now uh, is sitting at a very nice floor price. And what I love about this project is they're basically involved in everything. They have a very cult-like following with uh, their very unique art. I haven't seen a lot of other projects that have an art style of this nature. But what I love about them is they involve art, of course, tokenomics, staking, burning mechanics, and the full package. They say it themselves. And I really do believe that about Bohemia. So you take a look at their Twitter here. Uh, they are essentially the NFT art fair of Solana. So you could showcase your NFTs in the galleries of Bohemia and earn whoop. And I remember when I first heard about this, you know, say a month ago when I first bought mine, I knew these guys were up to something very good because ultimately people love metaverse experiences that actually work. And I find so often there are a lot of projects that don't have metaverse experiences that are actually functional. Bohemia looks to be doing that. So uh, they talk a little bit on their site about all of their different utilities so of course they go over the nfts they go over the galleries of course created on the unreal engine 5 which uh, is a fantastic engine i definitely do uh, think unreal has some of the best reputation as uh, being one of the best engines out there and of course showcasing your nfts in the bohemian metaverse then of course you earn your whoop by staking your bohemian nft in bohemia you earn more of course by participating and displaying the nfts in their gallery you also earn it by based off the ranking of your gallery and of course you could spend what i'm 
among some other things by leasing private galleries, buying mint passes to decorate your gallery. So again, these guys are always working on something. They also mentioned, of course, buying merchandise and some real life, uh, some kind of conference in real life. So I just love what these guys are doing. Again, they basically have mastered the art of community and utility. The next project we're we'll taking a look at here is something called the Schmurfs. Now, I've been talking about this project a lot on the channel recently, but I really do like what these guys are up to. So, of course, this revolves around the Schmurf coin and 3D Schmurfs ready to take over the metaverse. And, of course, they talk a little bit on their Twitter about uh, some of their artwork, and obviously it does look very, very cool. I do like this style uh, as a 3D sort of thing. I could very well see this performing well on Ethereum with the Ethereum community. So, uh, we take a look a little bit at their site here. Here is the story of the Schmurfs. So, welcome to the Smurfs, having recently had to depart Earth because of a deadly virus, they now live on the planet of Oceanas. Oceanas is beautiful with its stunning jungles, oceans, and landmarks, except there is, of course, a cure in a vial which need to be consumed in order to survive after they are faced with a deadly virus. So, will they consume this vial and accept the mutations to come? Time will tell. So, essentially what they are hinting at here is the future of mutations for their Smurfs. So, of course, here's a little bit of information about some of their lore, and of course, release phase one. So, so uh, the first stage includes, of course, the 3D Smurfs living on Oceanas, which will be coming out very soon. It was delayed from March, so that will be coming out in the mint soon. And of course, uh, delay uh, the chance to actually get access to a mutant Smurf in the next upcoming drop, which can be found uh, with information in the Discord. Then, of course, the Phase 2, they talk a little bit about the deadly virus spreading through the oceans. And of course, due to the spread, they have to adapt in order to survive. So here is their roadmap. They open up to the world. Pre-sale begins, launch phase one, mutant design phase begins, pre-sale events for all mutant smurfs, then launch phase two, the mutants, with of course merchandise and the metaverse land acquisitions, and going into the metaverse for series three. So this is a very cool project, I think, and again, if this is something you guys would be interested in, you would check out the description down below and get access to the whitelist. The smurfs were nice enough to give me whitelist access for you guys on the video. So if this is a project you guys think you might like, the whitelist is available for you down below in the description. And the final project for today's video is actually going to be two projects and those two are going to be Decentraland and the Sandbox because if you guys have not already noticed the floor price is dramatically down on a lot of these metaverse projects and most Ethereum projects in general to be honest with you are performing a little bit more poor than they were say a month ago. I think this largely may be due to the hype around Solana but uh, NFT markets move in phases. Now Decentraland and the Sandbox we all know are basically the two most massive forms of metaverse out there. There are so many different projects that are building things in Decentraland and building things in the sandbox. And right now, it is cheap. It is very cheap to purchase these plots of land. Again, especially given the fact that a month ago or so, when you take a look at their overall floor price, you know, you can see the sandbox obviously was doing a lot better. You would take a look at Decentraland here, and obviously, you can see this was doing a lot better uh, over the previous month. And of course, uh, right now, they are sitting at a floor of around 2.8, which I think, to be honest with you, is a steal. I really don't have the liquidity to get into either of these right now but uh, I definitely wish I did because to be honest with you I could see these performing very very well anytime a major metaverse announcement comes out now you guys have to keep in mind metaverse is largely driven by terminology I think a lot of people are sort of misstepping when they don't realize that Facebook by calling themselves meta platforms or Mark Zuckerberg making an announcement about something meta related is not necessarily good for Facebook but rather good for the entire NFT and crypto industry because the word meta has now been used everywhere to discuss metaverse projects. And again, it, it's only a matter of time before Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, some large company mentions something metaverse related. And once that happens, you guys will see one of the normal regular metaverse pumps that we see all the time. So that means that, folks, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe again if you guys are new. Check out the Patreon down below in the description. And let me know down below in the comments, folks, which of these projects did you guys like the most. Again, thank you to the Schmurfs for sponsoring this video. With that being said, my name is Matt, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.